even though I decided to vlog midnight, it's like 1 a.m. Yes, so there are still vehicles passing through. So if you are hearing any noise in the background, please pardon us. So I wrote a whole lot for 2024. Mm, like things I would do in 2024. The things that I, I, I wrote a lot about what I'll be doing in 2024 and what I have done in 2023 that has helped me and I'm keeping it up in 2024. So I have written a whole lot, but I'll just select a few and I'll talk about them. And yeah, let's keep it moving. So the first thing I wrote was uh, minding my own business and focusing on what matters. So this includes um, interfering with people's businesses that doesn't concern me, um, petty gossiping. You can't say you don't do those things completely like 100 percent you don't gossip you don't interfere in people's businesses but i try as much as possible not to interfere in people's businesses and just to focus on myself and what makes me happy and be happy be productive as much as possible and avoid petty gossiping and in 2023 i tried that and it has helped me a lot and i'm doing that same thing in 2024 also <clears throat> What I've learned in 2023 that I'm carrying to 2024 is that there are great areas in so first I used to think if someone does something bad to me, I'm just not going to talk to the person, the person should go, that's it, like forever. But now I'm I think I'm more matured enough to know that good people do bad things sometimes, and sometimes I have to set my boundaries so that um people don't harm me in ways that um maybe emotionally or any other way one day you are good one day you are bad and that doesn't mean that you, the person is bad or true so that's what i've also learned and to also meet people when they meet me like let's say i have a friend that friend or maybe i'm acquaintance when it's 12 o'clock if i call the person for help the person won't help me maybe the person is asleep so the person will pick up and be like oh i'm sleepy i can't pick up i can't attend to you so that person, I'm not going to say because the person can't attend to me at 12 a.m. The person is a bad person or I am going to cut the person off forever and all. No, now what I've come to realize is that if this person is my friend or an acquaintance and the person can't go this extent to, for me, I'm just going to underline that and know that, oh, this is my friend, but this is the places the person can do for me. Then it would reflect on me too. Like, let's say there are some people that you call them at 1 a.m. to you need help, you need them to be here, and they are getting up. They are like, Oh, let's do this, let's do that. Then I know that this is someone that I can invest so much in. Not like I'm investing the person that can help me at 12 a.m., but like if I need to invest more, maybe my time or something, I'll consider the person who comes out for me more rather than the person who is just like a bad friend. I don't know whether you get it, but at the end of the day, the person is still my friend and we are still cool. Another um, point I wrote was that that I'm taking into 2024 is that there are no shortcuts. The process is important and you should enjoy it because sometimes eh, you have a goal, you set a goal that, okay, you want to do this. And to you, that is the most biggest thing you could do. And let's say you use like five years, 10 years, two years to achieve that goal. And the day that you achieve that goal, you just don't feel anything. You are like, oh, so this is it. So all the suffering I suffer, like, I'm not even feeling it. Like, it's not really giving what I thought the fulfillment it would give me. So the process is always important. You should enjoy the process and you shouldn't want shortcuts. That's what I've learned in 2023 and I'm taking it to 2024. I am not going to go in for shortcuts. The journey might be long, but the process is so important. That's what I have learned. So that's what I'm doing now. If I'm doing something and I feel like it's getting tiring and I need shortcuts, sometimes the shortcuts don't really last. It's not like all shortcuts don't last. If you have the privilege to um, get a shortcut, that will work for you. That's fine. But if there are shortcuts that would be less, let's say quality than what you actually want to do i think you should go for the rough road and enjoy your ride 
Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing I learned in 2023 is that I can always do better. I can always do better. There are things that I have done that I feel like if I had put, uh, if I had put in much effort, I would have done better, way better than what I did. Or there are things that I have done that I sit back and I'm like, I am capable of doing more. But maybe I was lazy or I felt like I couldn't do it and because I didn't have that confidence in myself, I didn't do it the way I wanted to do it, the standard I wanted to do it. So this is what I've learned and I'm carrying it. And then another thing I learned in 2023 that I'm, ca I'm carrying to 2024 is that people are going to talk anyway, so why not just do what you want to do? There is this thing that people would always say that I agree with. God... There is a lot of noise in my area, so pardon me, the vehicles are too loud. There's this thing that I, I, I read or someone said, the person said, as long as he or she can sleep at night, he can do whatever he wants. And in that sense, it means like if your conscience is clean, if you know what you are doing is good, even before religion, there is conscience, there's knowing what is good and what is bad. So before you do something, there's something inside you that will tell you that this is good, this is bad. So, come call on my time. Like this is good or this is bad. No, I'm just speaking. Another thing I wrote that I learned in 2023 that I'm taking to 2024 is that I should be able to accept criticism. <laughs> the criticism. Nah, that's... A lot of people would um, genuinely want to criticize you because they want to see you do better and that is great. But people, some people would more like insult you or disguise hate and dislike in the form of criticisms and you shouldn't let that tear you down and also another thing i learned in 2023 that i'm taking into 2024 is that you should always start from where you are start from where you are you shouldn't wait like let's say you want to do something big and you are waiting for that big opportunity to come <laughs> you are waiting for that big opportunity to come before you would do that thing you want to do the small opportunities that you get the ones that you think they are nothing start from there like let's say you want to become a youtuber or you want to start a business and you are waiting for a shop you want like you just want a shop to come, appear from nowhere so that you now start big no you have to start somewhere even these big people that we see on the internet that we idolize they some most of them they didn't start big they started small and also another thing i learned in 2023 that i'm taking to 2024 is that in your tribe is very important finding your tribe if you are doing something or if you have a vision or you have goals that you want to reach, you should find people who have similar um, ideologies or similar beliefs or similar intentions. Like if you want to become, a, let's say, a musician, it's important that you find people who have similar interests. Not like you can't deal with people who don't have similar, in, who, who don't have similar interests, but it will make your work easier having people with similar interests because at that moment all of you are having like you all have the same goals to achieve or similar goals to achieve so you are kind of like feeding each other unlike someone who has a very total mindset of their own but if you have similar mindsets it's important that you have diversity you have people who have like different thoughts or different plans for the future and things but having people who have similar things will make life easier and that's that that i can attest to and it's very important and i feel like it's important 
Also, another thing I've learned in 2023 that I'm taking to 2024 is that people would buy you how much you sell. Like, you are worth what you think you are worth. Let's say you are good at something, right? But you don't have the confidence. I have this view, this um, avial view, whatever. And I think it's worth like 10 cities or 100 cities. And I'm afraid that when I say it's 100 cities, people wouldn't buy. So I'll go and say, oh, it's 100 cities, but if you have 50 cities, I can give it to you. People come and say, hey, I'll give you 10 cities. So I'll give you five cities for it, right? But you see people who have same buy and they'll come and say, oh, this buy is 100 cities. And I know why I'm selling it hundreds. It's, it's very important. It's very like it's quality, and and some will be like, oh, let me give you same advice. Some will say, let me give you like fifty cents. People say, oh no, if you can't buy it hundreds, it is. I don't know what to tell you, or you can find it somewhere, but I wouldn't sell it like that. You said people will buy from that person because the person knows what he or she is selling. You get. So sometimes when you have a um, low conf low self esteem and you are even good people would buy you low so it's important that you 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 start having confidence in yourself and that is what i've learned in 2023 that i'm beginning 2024 i'm going to be so confident in myself that when i tell someone i'm worth something the person wouldn't have have to doubt me because i have doubt in myself myself do you get yes so that's what i, I that's what just said and last but not least things that um i learned in 2023 that i'm taking in 2024 is that love is a beautiful thing yeah love is a beautiful thing and don't have hate in yourself tomorrow is new year start going now and let someone love you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And yeah, Happy New Year. And I wish you all the best. And yeah, that is all I have to say. It's almost two. And my area is still noisy so i'm just going to cut it here and continue next time and thank you for watching make sure and you do more videos <laughs> yeah i'll do more videos and also don't forget to subscribe comment like and share this video in my next video i'm going to talk about what i've been up to that i wasn't posting for the whole year oh, there are just more to, just to, just to. There are more just coming up, so please don't let this flop. Watch till the end. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>